filling cycle with a Q value of one half D. That's one half the diameter of the tool. This is a common value that a lot of shops use without thinking about the implications. On this part, that works out to 21 passes. Our tool has to go up and down, back up to that R plane, and back down to the bottom of the hole 21 times. So, just like our painter, we're gonna go much further than our two and a half inches. We're gonna be moving our tool close to 60 inches to make this single hole because we're using such a small Q peck value. So this is really not funny. There is no joke here. We're wasting a lot of cycle time with these small Q peck values, but we can fix this. We've got to fix this. When we drill, much of our tool wear is happening as the tip of the drill enters the material. So with 21 pecs, our tool is entering the workpiece 21 times. We are virtually guaranteeing that our drill is gonna wear out quickly with, with this many passes. When drilling, one half D is way too small for our pecs on most materials. But how far can we go? How much can we take with those passes? Bigger, bigger, okay. Typically, depending on the material, we can go three to five times the diameter of the tool for that first peck. And then with each successive peck, we can take less and less material. So how do we program progressively smaller pecs? We're gonna use that same G83 code, except this time we're gonna use IJK pecs instead of Q pecs. Our I value is that initial peck. How far do I want it to drill on that first pass? Our J value is how much I want to reduce that peck by each and every time. And our K value is my minimum peck amount. What's the smallest amount I want to drill by. Now, on my part, I'm using a quarter inch diameter drill. My D value is 0.25. On my first peck, I'm going to take 4XD. Now, we've got a little bit of rapid plane in there. We've got a drill point. And if you don't count that stuff, it's really more like 3XD. But I used an I 1.0. That's four times the diameter of my tool. I reduce my pecs by 2xd with each successive pass. So I used a j.5, 2xd in our case, quarter inch drill times 2.5. And I want my minimum peck to be 1xd. That's a quarter inch drill, that's gonna be k.25. Now these are okay starting values for most materials and drilling cycles. Check with your tool supplier for the values that work best for your tools. Now, by making these changes, we reduce the number of pecs we're taking from 21 down to seven. 21 down to seven passes. This brought our cycle time down from 18 seconds per hole to nine seconds per hole. I'll say this again. By switching from a G83 Q pec to a G83 IJ K pec, we cut our cycle time for all of our drills in half. Now, this G83 IJ K cycle is also available on your Haas lathe. So if you're a lathe guy, check it out, save some time. We could also have used our G73 high speed pecking cycle. This high speed cycle is gonna drill and it's still gonna peck, but instead of retracting all the way back to the R plane, it's just gonna back off by the amount that's set in setting 22, usually 10 thousandths of an inch. So it backs off a little bit and then it gets right back into the cut. Now you can use uh, an IJK peck with a G73 cycle as well. People will peck drill for all kinds of reasons. They'll use a G83 IJK if they need a, to clear some packed chips from their drill or if they need to get coolant on the tip of that drill. People will use a G73 cycle if they need to break up some long stringy chips or maybe turn them into the little tiny chips. Of course, in a perfect world, we would just use a TSC through spindle coolant drill to drill straight to the bottom of that hole in one shot. It doesn't get any better than that. No pecking at all. That's the fastest way to get there. Now, we showed you a G83 Q cycle. That took about 18 seconds. We showed you a G83 IJK cycle. That took about nine seconds. We showed you the G73, seven seconds. And a TSC drill running a G81 cycle that can 
punch this hole in just three seconds. So we've given you lots of tips, lots of options, lots of ways that you can drill faster. Now I'm standing in front of a VF3 SS machine. These SS models have faster accelerations, faster rapids, which means faster drill pecking cycles. If you're running any volume of parts, you might want to look at an SS machine, pencil it out, see if it makes sense for you. Um, or even one of our DMDT drill tap machines. Those machines are just built for speed. They're built for fast pecks. Well, I want to remind you to get rid of pecks if at all possible. If you've got a chance, get rid of pecks entirely. If not, use a G83IJK pec instead of a G83Q pec. And give that G73 a try if you just want to break up the chips. Now, one thing we haven't mentioned is the tool. We need you to call your tooling supplier. Um, a lot has happened in the last few years in regards to drill and tooling technology. They've got drills that can drill the hole behind me with just regular flood coolant in one shot, no pecs at all, right? Just a better flute design, high polished flutes. There are incredible drills out there. We need you to call your tooling supplier because we want you to make money. We need you to make money. Um, I, I sound like, a, uh, like one of those TV salesmen and I don't even care, right? Call in the next 10 minutes and receive a free set of steak knives. Well, we want you to make money. So thanks for letting us be a part of your success and for watching this 